Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today is day 24 of the 30 day um, baby challenge um, created by Teresa a Baby Steps Reborn Treasures Nursery. Uh, links are always underneath my videos. Just press show more and all the links will come up um, to all sorts of different goodies <laughs> just for you. By the way Lex and I've got a dog right in the way in front of the tripod. There she goes. <laughs> um, I'm going to change Lydia into a cute outfit today. I've been sewing. So I'm going to put a dress on her I made and some cute frilly socks and a cardi. So first off, I've got some absolutely adorable tiny, tiny little socks. Uh, they're by Pex and I got them from Children's Outlet. They do look really, really tiny, but they do stretch. <laughs> They've got a tiny, tiny foot on them. It's really, really small, but they do stretch. In fact, they're a little bit loose on the ankle on her because she's so small. And then I've got a really sweet white cardi that she hasn't worn yet. And that is uh, off eBay. It's made by Bebo. Little modified dummy. Oops, wrong place. Modified dummy. Getting carried away then, am I? <laughs> um, I did bring her booties in because I couldn't find her um, socks straight away, but I don't think I'll be putting those on. Um, some little free pants that I got in the pre loved baby shop. Um, this is about 200 yards from where I live for 40p. And then this little um, dress that I made for her, I'll just get it up and organised, um, which has got cute. Um, was it fairy castles, rainbows, ice cream cones, unicorns, stars, bows, all sorts of good things little girls like. So uh, we start by changing. I do like this outfit. Um, <laughs> the only one thing I'll be glad about when the challenge ends is that um, I won't um, be um, changing her every day. <laughs> I'll change her quite often, but I won't change her every single day because. Um, Sometimes I have really nice outfits on her and I just don't want to take them off really. But, uh, it's, you know, I've got to do the challenge. <laughs> so I, I do for that, but I would leave them on otherwise. And, um, <coughs> let's take that over there. I did forget to get a hat for her as well. Never mind, that's okay. It's not a problem. There you go. Take those off. There you go, sweetie. Let's turn you over. Suzanne, my friend uh, Suzanne from Hello Dolly, uh, I try not to get my arms in it so much. Got my arms right in uh, yesterday's video and I wasn't happy, but I didn't want to edit the whole video to take out one sort of 10 second piece. Um, yeah, my friend from uh, Suzanne from Hello, Hello Do Helly Dolly. <laughs> it's funny when you can't speak when you're bending over, isn't it? Um, Hello Dolly, she said um, she loves um Lydia's arms her hands sorry and um I thought yes she yes and I'd only been thinking about it yesterday because when I picked her up and I curled her in the blanket she puts her hands like this and it's absolutely adorable and sometimes when the blanket's around her and then she tends to cuddle the blanket as well somehow we won't do it now but she'll cuddle the blanket and it looks really really sweet and she always reminds me of my youngest Tom because when he was born he had lovely long fingers like this, and his, his children do now. But um, his partner, Emily, she has really long fingers too. <laughs> oh, these are going to swamp you, aren't they? They're going to be a little bit big. Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, bless her. She's got these really long fingers, like piano player's fingers. Really long and elegant. Um, but um, they always remind me of him, and when he was born... You know when they give them to you and they put you up them on your chest as soon as they're born? Well, the, new, the midwife just sort of grabbed him and picked him up so fast, facing me, and hands on his ribs, and put him towards me that he was startled. And my first <laughs> image of my son was this tiny little startled baby with all this hair, a really dense mop of jet black hair that was long, it came down the back of his neck and over his ears, there was loads of it. And his little arms out, and these little hands that were in this sort of positions where he was frightened. And I thought, oh bless, he looks like a little monkey. 
<laughs> bless him because i thought he did with all the hair and and uh you know his build and everything oh i try not to get my arms in sorry folks there you are. this is the first dress that i've made with lydia in mind so i don't anything i want to alter size wise will be on future um dresses there you go that's really sweet it's got a little bow on the front and some lace and uh, i think i just about guessed the legs pretty cool there because you can see her little legs which is really cute bless her and then i because it's um november and we're getting through um the months really quickly we really are it's just flying by and put this little card on to keep her warm and i did forget a headband uh, i was looking at the headbands and then i was sorting her socks because i couldn't find her socks because she's got so much in her drawer i had to take the drawer out of the unit so that i could actually <laughs> dig through it and find her socks bless her let's put you up there so i will put a little headband and um, brush her hair once i go off and then uh, and stop filming but i just wanted to grab the light now and uh, make the most of it there you go aren't you a sweetie yes you are let's put you in there so there you go because she can have a magnet a magnetized dummy or she can have um uh, what you call it modified so there she is in a new little dress and look back a little bit she got a better view does she look adorable oh bless her so there's Lydia on day 24 in her little dress, her little unicorn dress for um, day 24 of the 30, 30 day challenge uh, by Teresa Baby Steps Reborn Treasures Nursery. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed seeing Lydia. Thank you everyone for popping in. Uh, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves and each other. Bye for now. Bye.